This is the third time I'm trying to make this video, so good luck to me. <laughs> hey everyone, today I want to talk to you all about uh, fanfiction writers, and in particular, how fandom treats fanfiction writers. Now, if you have just stumbled upon this video, or you're a Facebook friend and you saw my post a few days ago, and was like, oh, I'll check out her video, then you are like, what? What's well, fanfiction? I'll explain. Um, it's basically just people further exploring the story of something that they love. So they will take the characters or the setting or both or something from a story that they love and write another story about it. Continuing on exploring the ways the story could be different. Uh, I love fan fiction. I have written fan fiction for a very long time, been in that community for a very long time, uh, and I really do enjoy fan fiction quite a lot, writing and reading it and being in that community. However, there are things that bother me and bother others, and one of those in particular is how we treat the fan fiction writers. Before we go further into that, I would like to point out that fan fiction writers do it for free in their spare time because it's something that they enjoy and then they choose to share that with us. Fan fiction writers don't have to do that. They don't have to share those stories and it's scary trying to share those stories because you have no idea how people are going to react when you post something and it's very discouraging to have a lot of negative comments especially when you have other things going on in your life people can be quite demanding about when fix should be updated because it should be updated when they want to rather than thinking about the fact that the fic writer has other stuff going on in their lives a lot of fic writers study or work or both a lot of them have other issues going on in their life family issues health issues friend issues all sorts and you know what, maybe they've just gotten sucked into a new fandom and that's all that they're thinking about at the moment so they can't focus on their fic from the from the other fandom. That's fine too. They don't owe you anything. Fan fiction writers do not have to update when you think they should. And believe me, when you make that comment asking when you're going to update, the writer already knows that it's been a while and they already feel bad enough. I've always felt bad when it's taken me a while to update a fic, even though I know it's outside of my control because of whatever's going on. Because I feel like I'm disappointing people. And I just want to say to all the fic writers out there, you're not disappointing people. You need to write at your own pace. Sorry for the bangs on the table. Um, you need to write at your own pace because otherwise it's not worth it. It should be for you first and if you're not enjoying it and if you aren't getting something out of it then it's not worth it. It's simply not worth it. I'd also like to discuss the fact that it seems to be quite discouraging to fit writers, especially the young ones who are just starting out writing and so just aren't very good to begin with. No one is good starting out writing. That's fine. It is so brave of them to put that forward on the internet. The internet is a cruel place and they put their writing out there and they bear themselves in that way to just get people going, this is terrible, why aren't you writing it this way, you should do it this way, do this correctly. And Maybe you're trying to give them constructive criticism, but it's never constructive. It's always cruel. I was extremely lucky when I first got into fan fiction. I joined my first fan fiction website when I was 14, and I have always been encouraged. There I was encouraged. People enjoyed what I was writing, even though it was kind of terrible, and I acknowledge that now that it was terrible. Um, it was still encouraging and 
that was why I kept going and it's why I've been able to improve as a writer because people have been encouraging and yes sometimes they ask for constructive criticism and it's fine to give that but you just have to be kind about it at least point out something that you enjoy about it so that they know they're doing something right because there'll be something in their story that is worth it. Basically, what I'm saying is don't be demanding to the fic writers. You get this so you get these stories for free. You get they aren't getting paid for it. It's just something that they're doing for fun in their spare time. And just please be encouraging because otherwise they will never improve and they will never write that fanfic that you will love in three or four years time because every fanfic writer started out bad no one just starts out as a good writer no one anyway that's all for this time if you have anything to add to this discussion please feel free to leave a comment below and if you have any suggestions for what we can discuss to do with fandom in the future you can also leave a comment or you can tweet me i'll leave a comment in the description Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see any further videos about fandom. And please check out my Sims videos. I'll link some playlists here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!